Hello, my name is Richard. Today I will be doing a video tutorial on Coursera for an introduction to interactive programming in Python. If you're having any problems with our mini project for week 6, Blackjack, don't leave before the end of this video and don't worry if you are on a time uh, restricted basis. This video should only be about 5 minutes long. So the first thing I will quickly, very quickly do is go over the rules of Blackjack while playing a game of Blackjack with the dealer. So let's get started. As you can see, I have a frame up Blackjack, and yes, this is my implementation for Blackjack. Uh, it took me about three hours straight to code. Let's enter in a bet. So 500, let's hit deal. Your hand's value nine, well, okay, that's good. Wow, I got an ace. All right, let's stand, the player wins. Let's go over the rules. Your hand's value is 20, so the rules is you have to get as close as possible to 21 and also beat the, the dealer um, at, and make hers or his, uh, the dealer's value, this thin number right here, lower than yours, so it's true. And the dealer is not allowed to hit or stand, I mean, is not allowed to stand under 16 and is is only allowed to hit so he has to hit under 16 I mean under 17 but he has to stand 17 or over so that's the rules for blackjack let's close this out and of course remember the most important thing if uh, there is a tie so for example those numbers the values interceded so say my value is 21 and his value is 21 which has to suck he has to win so that's the rules so I have three minutes left so let me quickly go over my mindset on me building blackjack starting with the programming template so what I did first was okay my mom says yes my mom is my manager my mom says go look at the home alright so let's look at the home and the first thing I see making progress on blackjack okay I like to see this for those of you looking for more help in the class forums yada 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 I suggest reviewing this site by Jan Grant, who gives a more detailed walkthrough. All right, let's click on it. Forget the rest. Okay, loads up. The reason that Jan Grant's thread is so important is because not because of her tips, uh, it's actually because of the way she structures her steps. So it gives you a nice guideline to follow while you're making this, and she also gives you these testings, these testings that you can test your code along each step. So if you just copy and paste this <coughs> each time you uh, finish one of her steps, then you'll be actually very good to go. So all you need to do after reading this or following this is just look at the information provided. So you know we have suits, ranks, and values. The suits are clubs, spades, hearts, and diamonds. The ranks are uh, each uh, value that I was talking about. And the values is just a dictionary. Use values for the function get value in hand. And that's a dead giveaway. But the reason I'm giving you that is because it's actually already obvious get value. Value, yeah. Okay, a card is basically a suit and a rank combined. So a, uh, a card, and that's given to us down here, card equals card SA, would be a card like SA. That's the ace of spades. And if you run this blackjack template, okay, it, it, it prints out or displays the ace of spades on the middle of the canvas. So that is basically all there is to the given or the globals that are given. Next thing is the class card. So if you don't understand classes yet, or you don't know exactly how the self, that suit, or how the stir and the init work, watch my video, Wild Opa Blackjack and Classes. And there's a surprise in there for all of you, and probably you already know from the title. But watch that, and you should get a pretty good understanding of how classes work based on init and stir, and how the self um, variable works too. <coughs> now I have 30 seconds, so let's wrap this up. When uh, I hit phase two in um, the programming, I immediately uh, saw that the first thing is a draw. So I immediately ran towards the class card and I saw, all right, let's copy this down. So if you kind of use this as a base to draw your hand draw function, then you'll be set to go. And remember, follow Jan Grants and not only hers, but also Miss Professor Warren's uh, week six tips. Those actually kind of helped me to start off the project. And that's basically it. Remember, if you have any problems, watch my other video tutorials. They should help you immensely. And all I can say is good luck on your mini project, and I hope you all do well.
Goodbye.